Hey, friends. Hey, welcome back to this nice cabin where we just read some horrifying picture with a journal attached. A journal that's prob probably not gonna. It's not. It's it's not dangerous or anything. I'm sure it's not. Yeah. I'm so happy we got almost a hundred bullets to shoot whatever is probably gonna attack us. I'm sure nothing's gonna attack us, but you never know. It's good to have a hundred bullets just in case. Let's go down here in this sandy area. Yeah. Look, there's something. Oh, look, it's a crank. It's a fucking crank. I will take the crank. What kind of crank is it? It's a square crank. It's a square crank. Be very, very quiet. A square crank. Awesome. Let's carry on. Uh, let's just keep that crank in our inventory. It'll... Oh shit, someone came home. Oh crap. Uh... Oh, what the hell is that? Oh shit, it's the monster bear was talking about. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Oh shit. Oh, we're getting the fuck out of here. Woo. Okay. So. Oh. I never, I, I always, it brings my, uh. Oh, well, yeah, it, it's scary. It always is scary. That's uh, that's Lisa Trevor. Uh, if you remember the guy we were at the diary for last week, the guy who was uh, trapped inside the wall or whatever after we played the Moonlight Sonata. Uh, that's his daughter, and um, this this side story here was added into the game with the remaster, and it's. It's just fantastically uh, sol uh, solved. We'll be seeing more about this story as we go. But uh, with the information we have right now, we know that Trevor, Lisa, and Jessica, Trevor being the dad, Jessica being the mom, uh, they, they were brought here or something, I guess. And Trevor was taken away from his family. Uh, and... Um, because he got he got sick. Presumably he was uh, smitten with the virus that's going around in this place. I don't know, something like that. And um, presumably dead or something. I don't know. And that diary we found was uh, written by Lisa in uh, Lisa, yeah, Lisa in her current state, and she's looking for her mom. Uh, which is creepy in and of itself, but if you remember from the uh, from the picture diary, something about attaching, and if you could, you looked at her model, you could see her um, her kind of wearing faces. I guess that would be the <laughs> uh, the best way to describe it. But it it would seem that she's looking for her mom, and and attaching sewing on faces to her own body or something i don't know more of her story will be explained as we go along but um after we have completed this game if if you're unsure and you're interested i definitely recommend recommend checking out the story and uh reading up on it from um on some some sort of wiki or something And yeah, you can definitely notice that this video was rendered uh, was rendered in um, <laughs> was rendered in 2002, whereas the rest of the game has been re-rendered because they obviously didn't re-render the FMVs. And this is this is the only place where they've used an actual FMV instead of uh, remake uh, or you know 
there's a lot of in-game cutscenes in this game. But not here. That particular place is still an FMV. I guess it took too much. Because, like I've said all throughout this game, all throughout this playthrough so far at least, this game has been... In, in its time, it was very, very beautiful. Um, at least compared to all the other uh, all the other games out by then, and it's mostly thanks to, uh, due to the. Uh, God damn it! Stop following me. What's that? A growing here. You don't need to use them now. Okay. So there's other stuff to be picked up here somewhere. The green herb, for example. Uh, but yeah, uh, the the beauty of the graphics are probably due to most of the stuff in here being pre-rendered. So very little pro processing power were used to uh, must have been used to render this game. Mostly models, and that saves up on power. And I think that's a smart way to go about things. It would only work in a um, in a setting where things have static backgrounds, though. I mean, you you would never be, you would never never get away with having foliage like this. Although I do actually think this foliage isn't pre-rendered. But there's no there's no physics to it. You can just walk through it like you don't exist. So, but who cares? I I, I never really care too much about graphics. I mean, in this day and age, at least, you would making an ugly game, objectively ugly game in this day and age is inexcusable because you have I mean you barely need to be able to draw to make a, a fairly good looking game nowadays anyway okay new area the residence uh, this place is interesting it will get more interesting as we go along Let's see here. Uh, this should be a safe room. And it is. Good. So for now, this will be our new little mini base of operations. A battery pack for our stun gun is good. More ink ribbons is good. Even though we're not doing too bad on ink ribbons this time around. Kerosene. If we want to burn more zombies. In case you were wondering, we don't. Uh, we can leave that one behind. I prefer using herbs. I I don't know why. It's just... It's just a thing I have. Because you know me, I have a thing for... For cranks and herbs. Uh, no map though, yet. But we got a couple of areas we can check out, so let's go take a look. We're gonna leave the blue herbs in this hallway behind for now. We might pick them up later. I rarely ever get, get you know, poisoned in this game. Oh, fucking hell! Oh shit, that's nasty. Oh god. Whew. Oh guys needs oh. oh I choked it. Oh whew. Oh I fucking hate sneezing. Not really though, but still. It's annoying when you're recording. Red oil lamp. It's not lit. God damn it. Alright. Let's just go pick up some oil lampy thingies here. Yep. Pick up oil lampy thingies. My brain really, really, really struggles doing two things at once. Let's go pick up our lighter. That's what I was going to say. Sometimes I wish I was playing Chris. I, I think I've said this before too, but you know, carrying around. Uh, boom. Boom. And boom. 
I don't know. It's just something about carrying around a lighter in the in, in the inventory as opposed to uh, anything else, I guess. I think part of it, uh, part of why I prefer Chris in terms of what items he's carrying around is because this, the stuff that Jill uh, doesn't have to carry around because she has a lockpick, um, the old keys, they are um, they are disposable for Chris. So, oh hello, strange silhouette hovers the red light. Could it have some meaning? Uh, I'm gonna assume yes. A meaning that's currently eluding our magnificent brains, but there's got to be something. And there are more spiders in here, aren't there? Yes, there are. Will you take the red book? Yes, I will. I will also take the first aid box. And let's immediately check out what's inside that box. Raccoon herbs, man. Blue and green herbs. Uh, here's another thing. Okay, I think I'm seeing it. A strange silhouette hovers the green light. Okay, so we might want to write this down, actually. It's going to come in handy soon. More shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. We like that. Okay, so. I'll just have a look. Red three up top, one down. This will all make sense soon enough. This is a pretty complex puzzle, actually. Well, it, it's not, not so much a complex puzzle as it's just something to remember. Uh, have we picked up all... Yeah, we've picked up everything we need from here. Okay, so... The orange with... Uh, okay, so... Six on the green, three on the red, and five on the orange. Do I have something to write with? Anything? Thank you! Madeline, keep something around. I'm gonna write this down. Uh, oh, I hope I didn't waste something for her now. Nope, I didn't. So, did, did, did. Uh, green, six. Dude. And red three. Dude, 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 dude. Those are those sounds. They are not making any sense sense to you at all. But I assure you, they will come in handy for me later. Okay, there we go. There we go. So we're done in here now. Check out the book while we're at it. It's a book with red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find some kind of use for it. Oh. My controller's acting up a bit. Oh, ye old 360 controller. I think I might... I, I think I should... I don't know. I, I haven't gone over to using the uh, Xbox One controller for the PC yet. I'm still using an Xbox 360 for Windows, whatever words. Um, and uh, I don't see myself changing anytime soon. But my, uh, my good old black controller is... Uh, Starting to wear itself a bit thin. I don't think we need a lighter anymore, so I'm just gonna leave it behind. I'm actually gonna do a. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do anything. But 
My, uh, the left stick is uh, struggling a bit as well. Okay, uh, the, the box there can be moved if we walk across here. That happens. Come on, let me go. Uh, but it barely does any damage, so I don't care. Pushing a, pushing blocks in these games, uh, it's always uh, just incredibly boring. Uh, long hallway, only one open door. What's this? Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Hmm. That's creepy. Oh, hello. A map. Yes, take the map. There we go. We got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. Uh, let's take a look. We see a giant beehive. Oh, crap. Look at them bees. They're fucking gigantic. Oh, we have picked up everything. Bees normally aren't a problem. Just... Oh. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What's Barry? Oh shit! What's Barry doing? Let's go find out. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to wait some monsters along the way. Okay, so Barry's, uh... Acting a bit strange. But you know, when you get into a room in a, in a weird residence, the smartest thing to do would be to uh, check out the bathroom. Oh my god. My sneeze came back to haunt me, guys. I'm sorry. Did a door just open? Hmm. I think it did. Oh, how did you get in? Why did Barry let you in? For fuck's sake. Oh, he's dead. Hmm. There's nothing in here. Nothing special. There's supposed to be something here. Oh, wait. There it is. Over on the table. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison to the other group of plants, the T-virus had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that plant 42 has two main 
mains has two main source of sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. Uh, we are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are a second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses its prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, the suckers on the vine drain the play of its blood. We also noticed that it has that it has some intelligence when it captures its prey or when it's inactive the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders unfortunately several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42 when we heard the stories from our survivors they all observed one thing in common when the uniform petal like flaps open and reveal its vi vital internals it has a tendency to become more aggressive one witness reported that it uh, that it was as if it was trying to protect itself why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. Henry Sarton. So, Plant 42, that's our, um, for now, main goal of this area. Before, there is a, um, there's a ladder down here. Right over here. Uh, before we go into that ladder, though. Let's see if... Is this where we got the key? No, it wasn't. Ugh. Ah, fucking beast. Get off me. Hmm. Okay, so down down the ladder we go. Or do we? No, we do not. We do not. This will be for the next video. Um So let's let's not delay. See you back in an hour or so, folks.